Okay guys, so it's time to arrange the track. So first, let's do some housekeeping here. So let's just rename and color these patterns. So first pattern that we have here, let's take a listen to it. So this is our base synth, so let's rename and color it. So base synth. Oh yeah, and we want to color it as well. So let's do this color or let's do the same as in the playlist here. So let's do a blue color like that. Now I have the second pattern, which is our base pad. So let's rename and color it to base pad. And let's put a blue color on that one as well. Then we have the next pattern, which is the third pattern. That's our melody. So let's rename and color it melody and we have a kind of a green color there okay so now we have the kick synth bass and bass pad and a kick sample is actually in this list here but i'm going to keep the name as it is because i know that this is the kick drum but we could potentially rename color and icon it as well so yeah let's do it yeah let's do it so now we have a kick drum here and the sample name kicked but we can't really see the name here. We have to zoom in. So now we can see the sample is renamed to, to kick here in the playlist. Okay, so now we have everything colored and named. Okay, so let's take a look at the different drum loops that we can add here. So we're going to create a beat now. So let's just take a look at the, the different drum samples that comes with FL Studio. So if you go to packs here, you can see drums and now you can see cymbals, hats, kicks and everything else here. So because we already have a kick drum, I'm going to create a snare. So uh, let's take a listen to the original track. So that's kind of a, like a clap and snare. So a kick drum is going on in the beginning and then it's a snare with a clap that is, um, I think they are uh, layered with each other. So let's take a listen to a nice snare here. I'm going to go with this clap here, so um, this one, and also this one as well. So I'm going to layer these two claps here, and uh, let's zoom in a bit. You can see they are muted, so let's enable them. And I'm going to assign these two sounds to um, a mixer bus. So let's go with mixer bus 15. And just lowering the sample here. So we can just layer it out like this, and I'm going to do it. So um, the clap is, let's see here, going to go with setting the clap there and there. <laughs> Okay, that is a bit low in volume, so let's lower it. Let's make it a bit higher. I'm going to separate these two claps because um, I want one clap to be louder than the other one. So let's go back to our channel rack and let's move the other clap to mixer bus number 16. I want this clap to be louder and that's the number 16 so let's make the number 16 a bit louder and number 15 um, lowering that a bit Okay. 
Yeah, and we can perfect this a lot. Like for this purpose, I'm just going to show you how to create a basic track. So I'm not going to uh, sit with a clap and perfect it and do other stuff. So I'm just going to show you how you can do it. But as you can see, you can scroll through different samples. And let's say that you don't like this sample. You can just go to one other sample here and just send to select a channel or focus plugin and that will actually replace this clap so um, you can do it that way as well all right so let's arrange this claps out here just so we have a nice loop so we can loop this and you can do it this way or you can put it in, in a channel rack here and uh, set it like that and then arrange it in the playlist but when I work with audio, I prefer having the audio in the playlist uh, straightly out like that. And this is because I can clip different stuff here. Let's say that I want to slice a clip. I can slice it out one, on one moment. If I only use MIDI for the drums, then it's not that flexible to do. And if you're working with audio, you can just go ahead and slice it like that. All right, so now we have our clap and snare. Let's take a listen to what we have more in the original track. All right, so we have a closed hat and let's take a listen to one. So I'm going to go to the hats here and this one I want to be in a channel rack because um, it's going to be too much audio here because I want the hat to be playing all the time basically so uh, I'm going to put this in the channel rack so let's open that up and go to all and now let's take a listen to a close hat that I want I think I want this one so let's just drag it in like this create a new pattern Pattern 4, rename and color it, and I want this to be kind of orange because the drums here are orange, and okay, so let's do it like this, you can also fill each 8 steps of course, sounds very static, so um, let's open up the piano roll for this one and Lower the velocity. Okay. 